Okay guys, so I'm showing you how many packs I have and the brand is the free trust here um, it's for $20 at my local beauty supply store and the color is 1B and I have 3 packs. Okay guys, so here I'm just showing you my braiding pattern and how many braids I have. I just have 9 cornrows straight back and I am, I just sewed everything together. Okay guys, so I wasn't going to turn this into um, a tutorial. But it kind of seems like it's going to go that way. Anyways, the hair that I have, as you all know, is a 3X Free Trist Braid Pre Loop Crochet Braids and Deep Twist. 16 inches. In color 1B. So it's like a 3 in 1. And I got it for $20 at my local beauty supply store. The last time I got this, as you know, like I said, it has three little pieces here, which is 36, 12, 12, 12. Okay, last time I did this, I had two packs and I had to go outside and get single packs, two packs of those. But I was just like, you know, let me just get three packs. So this is one pack. Like the little three bundles. This is not even, well, you could say half my head. I'm just missing one braid. So I did nine braids. I usually do like eight, but I feel like I want more volume. So I just did nine braids today. So let me just show you guys the back. No. Oh. And my braid pattern looks crazy. So. Don't mind it. This looks really big here because I have a lot of hair. Like, uh, too much hair that I have to like fold it and it looks kind of crazy. So I'm just going to show you guys how I put the hair here and pre-loop it. So, oh, and I forgot to mention to you guys, um, the reason why my hair it looks like my crochet is usually good. I'm not saying that. I'm not being cocky or whatever people think. My braiding pattern is the main reason why my crochet braids look nice all the time. I know I've seen a lot of people for like six braids and have the huge part that's ugly and people need to fix that. The most braids I think a person should they have short hair, I still recommend to do eight braids just so you have space and just so your hair looks more like volume. I hate when people have less hair because they're being cheap. Like I hate spending money on hair but Guess what? I like to do my hair. I like to look nice. If you want to look nice, you got to get more packs. You got to spend more money. But it's worth it. And people are going to like your hair when you really go in for your hair. Like if you're a hairstylist and somebody sees that your hair looks fucked up, nobody's going to want you to do their hair. So like I said, I recommend eight braids. For something like this, I would do eight to ten braids. I'm sticking with nine because I have a lot of hair. So nine will be enough. As you can see, this is a lot of volume here. Once I add this, last braid from this side from my left side it's gonna be a lot of volume so one thing that i like about the pre-loop is that it has the loop and it has like a little it has like a little string here but it looks like a little piece of hair or whatever it's like a string so it has a little loop there and you could adjust it which is really good because i feel like with certain hairs like this when it's a curly pattern if you do like one knot, it's gonna it's not gonna hold it. Like, it's gonna keep like unraveling. So I feel like this secures it in its place. Like, Freetrus just need to make more packs like this because I feel like the hair will last longer if it has the pre loop and it has a little string over it. So let me just show you guys how I put it in my hair. I take the latch hook. I never stop at the tip. I feel like that's how a lot of people lose the front of their hair because they start at the tip. Her crochet braid should not start all the way up here. I hate to see that. It looks nasty. It's gonna pull your hair off. Like why would you do that to yourself? I usually start here, and I got it from some girl on Instagram, I mean on YouTube, that she does the ringlet curls, and that's how I started the ringlet curls. I put her name like on the side or something. I gotta look it up. But yeah, I start right here, like not that close. I put the latch hook under, I hook my crochet, I close it, hook it through, and for the front of my hair, I don't do a double knot because I don't like the bulkiness. So I put it through, I close it, and I pull it. Let me do another one for you guys. Once again, I pull it, like the latch hook is, I mean, not the latch hook. This little piece of hair or whatever, piece of string is there. I just pull it a little bit, 
when it comes to, to the front of my hair, I usually put my crochet braids close. Like all the hair, I put it close together, just so you don't see like my braids. Wait a minute, why don't you get anything mixed up today? If you don't want to show any hair, when it comes to the top of your braids, I feel like you should stack up the hair like the whole thing. Like these two are the most important to like stack up the braids, stack up the hair, Jesus. When it comes to like hidden braids, I'll put like one here, one here, I'll space them out because you don't want to look like you have to too, too much hair. Okay, so I have the hair. Okay, so I have the hair, right? I just pulled it a little bit. I'm gonna put it right next to the first um, piece of crochet that I have there. I put my finger there, put the latch hook through, loop it, close this little latch hook there. Pull it through your braid. Make sure you're not getting like caught onto the other braids because that happens a lot. Okay, so you're gonna open it, pull it through. And like I said, it's the front of my hair, so I need to do one knot. And then I just pull it, I pull the two pieces so the string could get closer to your scalp. Oh, I kind of messed it up. All right, I'll fix it. Okay, so I'm back. I already did half of my head. Like, legit, thank God. Um, when it comes to doing my hair, I never, like, I already did one half. I usually start from the bottom and I work my way up. But if I feel like I'm running out of here, then I will start with the top, fill it in, and then make my way to the sides. Which I have four braids. I said four braids. Four braids left. I'm sorry for my lighting, guys. Like my lighting is really horrible. Like what the hell? Let me show you guys the back. So I'm already done with half of my head. So I probably have to fill it in just a little bit, but I'll go back when I'm done with everything. So. Like I was telling you guys before, when it comes to the middle of my head, you know, I stack up all the, the crochet braids or whatever. But now I'm going to show you that from the sides, I don't stack them up because you're, most people are not going to see them. And I feel like you're using up a whole bunch of hair that's not going to be shown because all this hair covers it. As long as the top is full, you're fine. So I have my braid right here at the tip and I'm just going to move it up probably a few Probably like finger spaces, which is that. So then I'll put my crochet here, my crochet here. I'm sorry, you guys. Today I'm like kind of confused. Like I'm kind of tired today. But somebody needs a new hairdo, so I gotta do it. So just space them out when you're working your weight up. Because you don't want to have too much hair in your head. So as you know, okay. I opened it up. Put it through and just pull it to secure it. I'm just gonna move it up a little bit more. Put the latch hook through. The hair is here. You're gonna put the little circle piece inside the hook. Close it up, pull it through. And this is the circle, the little loop. Okay, so I'm gonna secure it. I'm gonna put two knots because sometimes they like to come off. So I pull it, then I just pull this hair together so I secure it. I said so secure, secure the hair. Well, I'm gonna finish. I'll come back to you when I'm like all the way up here and I'll let you guys see everything. I forgot to tell you guys. So this is my second pack. I'm already down to the last of the three that's in the pack. If you guys know me, I'm under, if you guys understand where I'm coming from. Remember I told you guys that it comes with three little sections, which is 36 in total, but I already used 24, so now I'm going to use the rest of the 12. And this is my second pack. I have one pack to go, which is going to fill in everything here. So I'll come back, you guys. Well, not packs, but I have two more sections of the three. This is my third pack. This is my last pack. Of course, everything is going to fit, but I'm just going to go around my head and see what needs extra hair. I cannot be letting people see my scalp and stuff and see my braids and then curl. That makes no sense. But let me show you guys. I'm not fully done, as you guys know. So, yes, this is it. 
So since this is gonna take a while, my camera, well, not, it's not even my camera. I don't have a mirror, an extra mirror in the bathroom. So I cannot do my hair on camera because I can't really see what I'm doing. Show you guys the results. So, bye guys. So I'm almost done. I redid the top of my hair. I don't know if you guys can see it. Now I'm going to the back of this last braid. I'm gonna show you how much I have left. So I have to just fill this in. And I have, I'm on the third pack, you guys know. I'm on the third pack and I am on the last little section. Meaning, this one. So that means I have 12 here. 12 more pieces, then I have some extras that I'm gonna use right now. So I'll come back with the finished product. So, yeah, guys, bye. Okay guys, so I am finally back with my finished product. And with this hair, I don't know. When it's curly like this and long, I usually put leave it in the middle. But who knows? I might put it to the side. Okay guys, so thank you for watching and Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I see you guys next week with my book book spring video. So bye guys. Take care. XOXO and mwah.